Hi everyone, this is Matt Show with Intro Stats and today we're going to look how to use software to analyze uh, normal quantitative data. So we've kind of seen the theory behind that, we've seen that we want to use the mean and the standard deviation when the data looks normal. Uh, but again, we actually don't want to calculate this stuff by hand. We want to actually have a computer program calculate, do the heavy lifting for us. So um, let's take a look at an example. So this again is my website, matt-2show.org, and we need some data. So I'm going to go to the Statistics tab, and I'm going to click on Data Sets. Uh, the data we're going to look at today is the health data. This has, um, here's the health data. So we're going to look here. It's right here, health data. I'm just going to open the Excel file. So health data Excel. And you're going to get this one. Now this data actually has a lot of data. It has um, the random sample data from 40 women and 40 men. So it has the data separated so you can see the men's ages and heights and weights and women's ages and heights and weights and things like that and then it also has the combined data. So the combined data has um, all 80 of the men and women. So it does have quite a, few, quite a few data sets, so when you're looking for something, just keep kind of scrolling to the right until you find what you're looking for. The data I'm going to look at today is um, women's wrist circumference in, in, in inches. So the, they looked at, they measured how uh, far around the wrist uh, is uh, for these 40 randomly selected women in inches. Okay, so um, again, whenever you're working with data, like don't, it's not always a good idea, don't mess up some raw data. So I'm just going to copy this. We learned last time that if you want, if you hold your cursor above the column, see how it turns into a downward arrow, and then just left click, and it'll highlight the entire column for you. And then push Control C, or it's Command C if you're on a Mac. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and paste that into a new data set here. So we have a new data set here. There we go, it's right there. There's the new data set. Um, now, if I want to have the computer uh, calculate, I'm going to use StatCato and StatKey to calculate the mean and standard deviation. So we'll, we'll start with. Um, We'll start with um, looking at stat key. So again, you go to lock5stat.com. That's where stat key is hosted. You don't need to save it. It works. You can just open it. Uh, click on the stat key button. Now this was one quantitative da data set, so we're going to click on one quantitative variable. It's under the descriptive statistics and graphs, sort of on the top left. It says um, one quantitative variable. So we click on that. Now, whenever you're uh, pasting data into some into a um, uh, into Stat Key, usually you're going to click the Edit Data button. So Edit Data. Now, right now, this is kind of looks kind of weird. You'll notice you'll see the, the numbers, the quantitative data, but it also has a, a word next to every number. That's sometimes called an identifier. These were how long do certain animals live in years, and they were kind of showing what animal that, that number came from. That's called an identifier. Most of my data sets don't have an identifier necessarily. So, um, so what you're going to do, what I'm going to do is just delete out this data um, again, an easy way to delete data out, you can click and drag it down if you want, but I just like push Control A. Control A will highlight everything, even if you got a really huge data set, and then just push Delete. So Control A, Delete. Now I want to paste in the data that, uh, the wrist data from the 40 randomly selected women, so I'm going to do that. Now if you look, this data does have a title. So title means header row in stat in stat key, so you, you leave this checked that says header row, but it does not have an identifier. It doesn't have a word next to every number. So you want to uncheck that one. And then just push OK. 
And there we go. If you notice, right away it calculated there was 40 women. That's the sample size. We see the mean was 5.067. We see the standard deviation is 0.331. But again, we have to know we uh, we have to know to what the shape of this data set looks like for it to be um, for us to know if we can use the mean and standard deviation. So what we said was it needed to be normal or bell shaped. We can kind of see from the um, dot plot that it does sort of look sort of normal. We got more uh, dots in the middle and as we get away from the middle we have fewer and fewer dots. But it's better to look at the histogram. Let's take a look at the histogram. Now the, the um, number of bars is a lot for a data set that's so small. So we only have 40 women in this data set. So having 10 bars or 10 bins, or as StatKey calls them, buckets. So uh, ten, 10 buckets is a lot of, a lot of bars for this, um, for this small of a data set. So I like to decrease the amount of buckets. You can kind of play around with this a little bit and have these go back and forth a little bit, but you can see right away that that looks pretty normal, right? You can kind of see how the data looks looks very normal. Um, and also the mean, which is the average, 5.067, is pretty close to the highest bar. It's sort of right on the highest bar. Um, so this is what we call normal or bell-shaped. The highest bar is in the middle and the left tail is about symmetric with the right tail. Alright, that's how you know normal when you see it. Um, you can also decrease the number of buckets if you want, number of bins with this slider. So here's, here's five bars or even three bars. Three bars works pretty well, especially if the data is very, very small. But this, thing, this data set looked normal even at five bars or even at seven bars. So it looks pretty normal. We, got, we definitely have the highest bar in the middle and it looks pretty symmetric. So we, this is normal, and what we learned uh, in our theory is that that's when the only time the mean actually is an accurate average, so that we are allowed to use the mean. Uh, one thing to take, uh, take a look at is that the mean and the median are actually very close. Um, in, uh, when we get to our discussions about um, skewed data, um, the, the mean sort of gets pulled in the direction of the skew. But if the mean and the median are actually very close, that's usually a good sign that you're probably, the mean is, is somewhat of an accurate average. Uh, also, standard deviation is going to be our spread for normal data. Okay, so we know the mean is 5.067 and the standard deviation is 0.331. Now, I could have actually found this on, on uh, Staccato as well. So, whenever you're copying and pasting in Staccato, you always want to make sure the title again is in the gray. So I'm going to paste in that data. There it is, women's risk data. By the way, you can pull these. If you put the cursor in between where it says C1 and C2, you'll see it turns into a sideways double arrow. If you click, you can drag it open and see the title better if you want. Okay, so let's take a look at our graph. If we want to graph this and see what the shape is, I would go graph and histogram. Right There's our histogram. And then you just click on the column that you want to uh, make a graph of. This button down here that says Show Legend is a good button. It puts a title on it for you, so which is kind of nice. I always like my graphs to have titles. And number of bins. I know uh, StatKey called them buckets, <laughs> but uh, StatCato calls them bins. And uh, so the number of bins, 10 is quite a few. I think I'm going to decrease this. I think we uh, even like three bars would probably be pretty well or five or seven. Three usually works pretty well if you have a small, small data set. And we can see it does look normal, right? The highest bar is definitely in the middle. So it looks, looks pretty symmetric. Um, okay, and uh, we can also have a dot plot if we want. So graph and dot plot. And just click on that on the column you want. Again, show legend will put a title. And there's our dot plot. So you can kind of see even the dot plot looks kind of normal. Alright, and now how do we find statistics on StatCato? Well, it's under the statistics menu. So you go to statistics, basic statistics, descriptive statistics. So again, statistics, basic statistics, descriptive statistics. If you just want to kind of calculate some basic statistics for a quantitative data set, that's where you'd look. 
again it will ask you input variable that wants the column so sometimes it'll have like a you know you can click on the column but this one doesn't so we have to type it in C1 stands for column 1 so it's the one it says here it's asking what variable what column your data is in and notice you have all kinds of different statistics that they will calculate uh, here's a few that are I think are important especially if you already know that what I what I always do is find the shape first and then I identify which of these statistics I want based on the shape since we already know this data was normal we're going to want the mean and the standard deviation so that there, the mean and standard deviation are right there. Also, it's nice to have the min and the max. I like to know the min and the max because those might be outliers. And I also like to know how many numbers there were. So I like this button that says N total. If you remember, the letter N stands for sample size or how many numbers are in your data set. So those are the, when I have a normal data set, these are the sort of the statistics I like to find. And I just push OK. And there we go. It calculated it for us. Notice it got the same, really the same numbers that um, StatKey gave us. The mean was 5.067, and the standard deviation was 0.331. The min was 4.2, max 5.8, and the end total we had 40 women in the data set. Now, what I want to show you though is uh, what do these numbers mean in terms of the theory we learned last time? So last time we learned that if you add and subtract the mean and the standard deviation, you get the typical values, the typical values. So 5.067, the mean, minus 0.331, the standard deviation, gives us 4.736. And the mean plus the standard deviation gives us 5.398. If you remember last time, I mentioned that that's about the middle 68% of the data. Now, I just want to kind of show you where that stands, so it's good to kind of have a visual of the data. Now, the one thing about this um, is, again, this data is not in order. Um, so what I'd like to do is just kind of put it in order. So I'm going to highlight this data set. I'm going to go to Home, and right here you'll see Sort. Sort. And I'm going to sort smallest to largest. There we go. And that just makes it easier for me to kind of see this visually. So anything between 4.736, so uh, 4.7 would be less, so it has to be between 4.736 and 5.398 are going to be considered typical. All right, so this would be considered typical. All right, so there's our, our 4.8.